वेलकम टू वीडियो नंबर 88, 15 कॉमनली आस्क क्वेश्चंस अबाउट वेइंग बैलेंसेस इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री वी विल स्टार्ट विद वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चंस एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ वेइंग बैलेंसेस एवरी पर्सन हु इज हैंडलिंग वेइंग बैलेंसेस इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री शुड नो द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन बाय डेफिनेशन लिस्ट काउंट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू कंजुगेटिव रीडिंग्स प्लीज डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज विद द टर्म मिनिमम वेट दैट कैन बी वेड here for better clarity two examples are given if weighing balance is showing the reading of 5.233 g and after addition of weight the immediate next reading is 5.234 g then we have to measure or calculate the difference between these two consecutive readings and for that purpose we have to minus the lower reading from the higher reading here 5.234 minus 5.233 is 0.001 g here we get the list count of weighing balance as 0.001 g and here another one example is given you can pause this video and understand the second example also second question where we should install weighing balances the minimum requirements for weighing balance installation are given in usp chapters the surface on which we are going to install weighing balance should be hard surface with no or minimum vibrations there should be even platform and it should allow leveling of balance there should not be any direct flow towards weighing platform it may cause fluctuations in the readings which usp chapters are referred for usage and calibration of weighing balances there are two usp chapters that instruct or guide about weighing balances first is USP chapter number 41 balances and second is USP chapter number 1251 weighing on analytical balances next question what is air bubble adjustment and why it is done answer is air bubble is adjusted at center with the help of rotating wheels provided due to air bubble adjustment center of gravity get adjusted to center and balance becomes stable next very frequently asked question is when we should qualify or calibrate weighing balances there are majorly four cases in which we should qualify or calibrate weighing balances case 1 at the time of initial introduction of weighing balance to the facility case 2 periodically based on the plant specific sop that is fortnightly or monthly case 3 when weighing balance is shifted from one location to another location and case 4 prior to use after major breakdown or major maintenance what are the weighing balance calibration parameters as per usp chapter number 1251 following are the weighing balance calibration parameters first sensitivity second eccentricity third linearity and fourth repeatability what is reason to perform repeatability test answer is repeatability test is performed to check ability of weighing balance to give same results of the same object under the same conditions every time how accuracy of weighing balance is checked to measure accuracy of weighing balance single weight is placed on weighing balance platform that single weight may lie between 5 to 100% of weighing balance capacity formula for calculation of accuracy is certificate weight minus observed weight divided by certificate weight into 100 as per usp acceptance limit is not more than 0.10% what is sensitivity test for weighing balances weight close to the weighing balance capacity is used to perform sensitivity test for example for weighing balance of having capacity of 220 g of weight we should use approximately 200 g weight for sensitivity test it can be calculated with the below given formula and acceptance limit for sensitivity test as per usp is not more than 0.05% what is eccentricity test for weighing balances weight of more than 30% of weighing balance capacity is placed at all corners and center of weighing pan to check eccentricity it can be calculated or measured with the below given formula and acceptance limit for sensitivity test as per usp is not more than 0.05% next very commonly asked question explain about cleaning procedure of weighing balances here four major points about cleaning procedure of weighing balances are given first cleaning of weighing balance shall be done after switching off the weighing balance second use cleaning brush for cleaning and follow the instructions given in sop and manual 
use wet mop dipped with 70% ipa solution for cleaning of external surfaces and last cleaning of weighing balance shall be done before and after every usage of balance what should be the part of sop for weighing balances sop for weighing balance shall instruct for following procedure for calibration of weighing balance procedure for operation of weighing balance and procedure for cleaning of weighing balance this one is technical and important question about weighing balances question is how electronic weighing balances works answer is an electronic balance operates with the help of load cell with a strain gauge a weight of the object is determined by using electrical resistance next what are the initial checks that needs to be done prior to usage of weighing balances following are the pre checks that shall be done for weighing balances prior to usage as per usp chapter number 1251 turn on weighing balance at least 1 hour before proceeding with the calibration additionally ensure that balance is clean and free from previous material check if spirit level is adjusted if not adjust it switch on the balance and check for zero display if zero display is not shown press zero button to observe zero display last but very important question where we should keep standard weight box answer is always store the weights in room free from moisture corrosive gases and dust if the weights get rusted or dust sticks to them the mass of the weight will increase this will result in inaccurate readings after using the standard weights place them inside the desiccator to keep them dry keep watching farmgo subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry